Today's video is going to teach you how to use Marcus Mariota in Madden NFL 16. What's up guys, my name is Cody and I like to make Madden 16 videos and post them on the internet. Today we're going to be taking a look at how to use Marcus Mariota in Madden NFL 16 and we're breaking him down all week and what we're focusing on is the playbook, the Philadelphia Eagles offensive playbook and we're giving you a five sets for success scheme, um, how to be successful with this playbook and today we're focusing on how to beat the blitz uh, with Marcus Mariota. So we're going to use some of his talents and we're going to come out in a nice blitzing formation, the Big Nickel Bear, one of the most popular uh, blitzing formations this year, one of my personal favorite blitzing formations and we're going to show you how to use uh, Marcus Mariota to really beat the blitz and so we're going to hop into this and I think we got low battery on something let's see here we got three bars on this one this one may have come unplugged here let's see Let me plug that in let's check our battery here make sure we're charging it doesn't look like we are charging okay we need to charge it but uh, anyway uh, trying to get going here but uh, what we like to do uh, against the blitz is we really like to spread it out and we really like to you know to really kind of hit the flats we like to focus on flats and kind of quick reads quick slants quick flats quick zigs those things uh, that's what we're looking for so as we look to uh, beat the blitz what we like to find is a, a is a formation that can really pick up the blitz well um, we broke down you know some of the other uh, plays but what I like to use uh, to beat the blitz from the Eagles um, off it's a book here let's see this flip trips is one of the favorite ones from Arizona and you see we have a nice quick pass here uh, and the, the the what the what the the primary purpose of this is having a quick pass formation to you know really kind of focus in on something that we can throw quick uh, at the defense and so oh, see what we can find here uh, single back sometimes has some good stuff Single back doubles, um, but you want to look for like quick halfback throws, um, quick passes to maybe your halfback or you know things like that. Um, and what we're going to go ahead and do is we're probably going to go with this flip trips eagle. Um, and the play that we're going to utilize is this middle high low play. It has a nice running back quick throw uh, that we can use. Also has a tight end on the play, uh, so some nice formations there. Uh, and this can get us to all of our plays, so, so we're still able to get to it. Uh, also, always important to note what your quick audibles are. Uh, we see you have the PA read in here. We also have uh, a nice little inside zone in which we can always use uh, tonight. You know, if they're if they're really not having a good look against the run, we can easily audible to it. Um, and then we have the verticals. Uh, and notice all these quick throws. Um, you see here we have a nice quick throw to the flats in the vertical play with Hunter. So some nice things from this formation. Um, also important to note is that all the motions you can do. And uh, I think my charger got disconnected here. I'm having some trouble with the controller here. Um, but anyway, uh, so let's get into this. Uh, so this is the play that, as it looks on your screen, we have a nice couple things here. First of mo no, and gosh, we have some controller issues. I think my charger came unplugged. So let me plug that in real quick, and then we'll get into the breakdown. There we go. It should be plugged in now. And yep, there we go. Okay, so we're charging. But anyway, just want to show this uh, zone breakdown, and the idea here is that we want to hit the flats quick. Uh, so the first thing that we're going to take it into consideration is what I like to do is take Delaney Walker, and I like to place him on a quick drag pattern, um, tight in, you know, you know, a really nice quick drag pattern, and then I'm going to take Harry Douglas, and what you'll see is you can motion him in, and what, we're, what it'll do is it'll create a nice little bunch formation here to the right side of the field, and what we like to do is motion Harry Douglas in and place him on a quick hitch pattern, and he is our first read on this play against the zone blitz. He's really effective uh, at beating the zone blitz, as you see here. Um, a nice quick hitch pattern. Now, what's interesting to note is if the defense runs a man blitz, and you don't want to place him on that hitch pattern after you motion him in, uh, not before. So that means your first hot route is always going to be Walker. But in a man blitz scenario, you see you're going to still be able to fit this in. If you look at it quick, if you hit him quick, um, this is going to work against every man coverage as well. Um, let me show you uh, this press man. So if the defense tries to press you, uh, and you know you bring Douglas in, the cool part about the hitch pattern is it's unbumbled, so the timing is always the same. And what you're going to see here is by low pass leading this, this is going to be a nice way to beat the blitz. You see a nice quick pass uh, to have at your disposal. So, so that's something that we really like here, uh, so to put him on that hitch pattern. Um, and then the next read here against the zone blitz is, if the hitch is not open, to look very quickly 
um, to your running back, uh, to your running back, because you're going to look right and left. Um, and so there was a bad example um, of the play here, but let's motion. And what you're going to see is the running back is going to have a nice little option for a quick pass as he cuts up. So look right, nothing there, look back to the left, and you, you don't want to obviously throw it off your back foot, as you see here, uh, some issues with Mariota. Um, and, and some issues on my part for trying to throw it off my back foot, but it's a quick pass, and you're just going to be like, boom, boom, and there's Sankey. And this is, um, you know, primarily uh, if they if 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 Douglas's route is covered, that means that they're going to have a flat defender over on that side of the field, and uh, so basically that means they're going to be having to blitz from this left side. And uh, like I said, you don't want to throw it off your back foot, so it is important to, um, you know, kind of work with your work with your footwork um, you know I think that's one of the most underrated things this year but to step up in the pocket and to kind of set up because if you throw it off your back foot as you see there we're having some trouble um, setting up and uh, we'll throw interceptions for, for days but um, the next read if your running back is not open um, is this nice middle pattern to Delaney Walker it's gonna get some good uh, opportunities to have there with that so that's your your really your next option uh, and then we'll show you how this looks against man as well and the drag route is probably the most consistent beat, uh, man beater. Um, as you see here, you're going to be able to, to beat the pressure. Uh, and we had some issues there. We didn't motion in Douglas. But um, what you'll see here is against man pressure. Um, the other thing you'll be able to do is if they blitz you in man, if by holding L1, you can hit a nice lob past the Kindle right. And um, Mariota needs to make obviously make a better throw there. But what you'll see is if they blitz you from man, uh, first and foremost, you're going to have Harry Douglas, but second of all, um, if they have no safety help over the top, you can easily throw this nice high pass lead to Kendall Wright, go up and make that user catch, and just take that one-on-one -on -one chance if you want to. Um, if you want to be more secure in your passing, um, you know, Walker will typically come open. Um, the problem is the pressure uh, does kind of get on you quick, and so like I said, you know, normally you're going to be hitting Harry Douglas. If they jump your first read, um, Walker... What you should see here is a um, nice drag pattern, and uh, there we use Douglas to, to kind of show it. And you can use either one um, if you wanted to. Like I said, you know, what is also interesting that you could do with this is you could say Delaney Walker is going to be my hitch receiver, and I'm going to put him on the, the hitch pattern. And then I'm going to bring Douglas in motion on a drag and snap it before he sets up. That way he's unbumpable, and you see you have a nice little quick pass to him. But again, it takes a little longer to develop. So obviously just always working through this. But um, And then finally, if you pick up the pressure and everything works in there and just a basic zone coverage, you can easily hit this pattern to Hunter, uh, a nice little pattern uh, for you to hit there as well. So uh, some decent quick passes uh, from this. But the main one that I want to focus on is this, is this nice route here. As you see, Arakpo jumping in the zone blitz. Um, and in the zone blitz, you're really not going to look forward to it. But in a man blitz scenario... What you're going to see is this route to the running back. Um, gosh dang it, we keep throwing it off our back foot. It's just a quick pass, and really you're trying to step. And you'll see um, Sankey does a nice job. But the, the, the other thing that is also important is the motion into Douglas, and that's the real bread and butter. I mean, it being your first read and normally going to be a nice opportunity there for a nice low pass lead. That's what we're really looking to hit. Um, but, of course... You know, the more you work with this play, you know, the better this is going to be. But you see that, see how they jump that, uh, that quick pass to the back. And so it's important to note that that really this is more of a zone read to your running back, um, as you see here. Um, but again, this is a blitz beater, and uh, the the key here, and I just want to kind of reiterate is this right side of the field. They're going to have a lot of trouble stopping the right side of the field here um, with this nice quick drag that you're going to be able to have. I mean, I really like the quick drags, and I love the ability to create a nice little bunch look uh, over there. The cool part about it is you have nice routes that are going to work off one another. So if they're in a man scenario, you know, you're still going to have your quick drag pattern. Um, and I like to use the lob pass to really kind of get him some more space uh, to let him run. So that's what we really like to do. And then again, if they're in like a zone blitz, like something like a storm red, um, you know, a quick pass to the running back out of the backfield normally will be effective. Um, if they try to jump it, as you'll see in a rack post, trying to jump this, well, then we can hit this nice drag. And oh, we forgot the motion. We forgot to motion the motion the guy in. I'm trying to work through this quickly because I want to. I don't want to take up too much of your time. 
but when we bring Douglas in uh, like this, what you'll see is against the zone, you know, he's obviously something that you're going to be able to hit uh, quick against the zone blitz. So all these options and all of it suffice it to say for now, I mean, and then, of course, you know, one-on-one -on -one scenarios, you can throw it to Kendall Wright um, over the top of the defense as well. Um, so, you know, a lot of options here. I don't know what Mariota's doing right now. He's throwing really bad balls. But, um, but anyway, this is just something to use. And, and then, uh, of course, you know, you have your quick plays as well. The scat play is really good against the blitz um, because you have a nice little quick flat pattern uh, to Kendall Hunter. And the cool part about this is the same kind of concept. If they blitz you from man, the cool part is to bring um, to bring Douglas in. And um, you're going to be able to really still, you know, still kind of work that quick pass against man, quick pass against zone uh, mentality. And uh, the only part about the scat play is you can't really hot route anybody. Um, but you see that this route to Walker will beat man uh, as long as he makes the catch for you. So so that's how we like to beat the Blitz from the Tennessee Playbook, guys. Uh, if you want more detailed uh, offensive breakdown, you can check out our guide, uh, our full ebook on the Arizona Cardinals offense. It's really uh, an effective uh, playbook in my opinion. I think the guide is really well done. And so uh, pretty cheap, though, pretty reasonably priced guide. So you can check that out. Obviously, if you don't want to pay for it, it's fine. Uh, you can still use this free stuff that I offer here. Um, but again, um, you know, if you're looking for more of an in-depth look into the offensive side of things uh, in Madden, you can check that out. But until next time, guys, we'll see you.